Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Adventurer. And I'm Lunchbox. And on this episode... We're going back in time. Absolutely. It's Grolsch. Probably my favorite Dutch beer. 5% alcohol. And if you're not drinking it in this bottle... I mean... Come on. For real. We have to zoom in on that. Right? That's how you do it. So, we have a little bit of history with this beer. Exactly. Um, probably... Man, it's probably been 25 years ago. There weren't too many uh, foreign beers. There were no craft beers to speak of. Not around here. Yeah, there there was. wasn't even Sad Adams at the time. So um, around here, there were very few foreign beers. And if you wanted to be all cool when you were drinking, um, it was like Corona or Heineken. Yeah. Um, Guinness was very hard to come by. You could find Beck's every now and then. Um, so... One of the little local stores close to where I lived, it was on the interstate, and these little bottles popped up. And, of course, with a top like this, you could miss it. And uh, so we used to grab these things, a couple of them a piece, and go back to my little shed and lock ourselves in the shed, and this is what we drank. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is this has some history for us. Little 21-year-olds <laughs> going, we're going to have this. That's right. So We're drinking foreign beers. You've probably never heard of it. Yeah. It's a girl. <laughs> So cheers. Wow, that tastes almost 20 years old. <laughs> it has a little bit of funk on it, but not a whole lot. But I mean, I've never had a girl that didn't have that little bit of funk on it. Yeah, I mean, it might be kind of like the Corona funk. It's yeah, just, I mean, it's part of the flavor. Okay, you know? if I ever go and I drink it fresh, you know, in, <laughs> in, in you know, like, Europe, we're here in the Netherlands. Yeah, if I'm ever in the <laughs> Netherlands, they brewed this right over there. <laughs> it may taste different, but I mean, I'm in Tennessee, so um, that's what it tastes like. But other than that, it, it tastes like every other oh, like European. Like is, it, is that a Pilsner? Ago. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like every other European pilsner. It's really light and crisp, um, kind of dry, but um but nothing nothing really overpowers it except for our uh memories. <laughs> I'm like twenty one years old again. Like right. Uh we thought we were so cool because Well, we were, we were buying beer expensive beer. Yeah. Instead of buying like That's right. In, instead of buying like Budweiser or you know, High Life, <laughs> we got a this was in green glass, and we were. I remember lid? telling people, like, look at the lid, man. Right? What so you can seal it back up. Like, who's not going to finish it? What was really <laughs> funny is we even said something to his grandmother about that, and she was all like, you know, all bottles had that on it. Right. right. Grandma right. remembers these. And we were just <laughs> She like, had a few in the cabinet. <laughs> yeah, she pulled them out, and we were like, wow, that's crazy. Happy's whiskey always came in that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so hmm. this was a. Uh, a trip down memory lane for us. Nostalgia. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a European beer, it's not something bizarre. It doesn't taste all crazy. It tastes like all the other European it's pilsners. Not, there's not a big hop uh, note. Um, I think it's got that funky hop note. Well, I think it's, uh, I think it's literally the funk, not the hops. Okay. Uh, uh, I was trying to give them the benefit of the doubt that it wasn't your old deal got funky. <laughs> Um, um, I think I think maybe that's just kind of part of their flavor profile. Like like I said, like Corona. I um, this is going. I be mean, good. it's it's smooth, but it's got a little bit of tartness. Uh, it's super easy to drink. I mean, it's five percent alcohol. Yeah, I drink this all day. I mow the yard twice. I mean, it's Grolsch. I mean, I'm not gonna mow the yard. I watch them mow the yard, but it's Grolsch. Um, if you haven't had a Grolsch, like, why not? And I, I love just, the fact that it has these lines. And I if, always wondered on the lines on the side, was that, like, how you poured? Or I was like, I don't know. That's so you don't lose it, man. Those are finger grooves. It probably just are. add it to your quiver of beers that you've on, tried on Untap. And uh, be sure and tag us. And then go down in the comments and tell us, what is your favorite European Pilsner? Um, uh, what's something you want to see us try? What's something you thought had a really cool lid? Yeah. Tell us that beer. And while you're down there, if you're enjoying this, hit the like button. Uh, give us a subscribe. I do this three times a week. And you'll also notice down there, I got merch now. Go check it out. I might have something you would enjoy. This shirt's not available yet. Unless you're watching this like way after I've made this video. And maybe it is. But, I mean, that's really about all we can really say about Grosh. I mean, it's a decent beer. It's not 
amazing. It, there's nothing disappointing about it. Yeah, but there's nothing <sighs> amazing about it. And it's that that's part of it okay, right there. So like did you dig it? Yeah, I did. Of course I did. I'm always going to dig it. Would you have another? Yeah, I'm always going to have another. Pig six, whatever. It comes in these bottles. Um, so the six pack thing is blah. Yeah. Um, but one to ten. Okay. Because as if you've watched our videos before, you'll know that I say all the time, part of beer is the thing that unites us and it's the place that puts you back. So this beer gets a higher rating from me than the beer is because it transports me and my best friend to 21 years old sitting at his house having beers and we were thought we were special. So the beer's a six, but it's not a six. It's it's a seven. Dude, I have to start with the beer being a six, and I'm gonna give it a seven just for having that cool yeah. top on it. And then I'm gonna give it another point for for the history. So I'm giving it an eight. But you know what? Just I didn't, because I didn't take in count that. Oh, watch it now. I didn't take in count that. Yeah. So I'm at an eight too. Yeah, that's that's the that's beer gets a, the beer gets a six. Beer the bottle a six. Gets a, bottle gets another seven, but because we have history, it goes to an eight. Yeah. Uh, you can make that what you want to. Try the Grosh. Tell us what you thought. We love you. Until your, your next, next beer adventure. adventure. Cheers. Cheers.